and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to create noise inside of Houdini with the VOPs. Um, so first things first, let's create, I created a sphere, I set it to polygon and I increase the frequency. I'm going to use an attribute VOP here and plug it in. So first things first, let's dive in and let's create a turbulent noise. Um, there's different kinds of noises in here. You can test to see which one you like. Um, but usually, you know, I like using the turbulent noise. So if we were to plug this into the position, then everything's going to go away because we're just essentially sampling um, turbulence. Um, and if we were to grab the position, you know, all the points go right here. Everything goes into that little dot. If we were to plug in the position into our turbulence then we're gonna get the output of what what the noise basically looks like this is just sampling the noise so what we want to do is we want to grab the noise and add it to the position so we're gonna use an add and we're gonna grab our current position then we're gonna grab our noise and then we're gonna grab this to the output so now we get something where um, there is actually noise happening, but as you can see the noise is all uh, moving in that direction um, So back to what we just did so that we have things clear here we grabbed our position which is a vector value and we plug the position into a turbulence and This turbulence whatever is happening here. We're adding that to our current position. So we have our current position and then we're grabbing the noise and adding that to the current position. And then this is what it's going to give us. Now, if we set this to a 3D noise, then the noise is going to be moving into all the directions. So what a 1D noise is doing is basically outputting a float value, which is one number. Then when we turn it into a 3D noise, then you can see this changes color. So it's exporting a 3D noise, an X, Y, and Z. So that's why it moves in all directions. And Houdini is smart enough to tell us that based on the color. If you come in here and you go hover over, it tells you it's a vector. Then H is a float. Then life is also a float. Then ID is an integer value. Okay. Um, so that's that. That's the beginning stage. Now, we want to have noise that is more controllable. Because as you can see, some of this noise looks really weird. Okay, so in case you're doing this for Earth direction, it's okay, but we want to sample this based on the direction of our normals. So how do we do that? Let's create another attribute, Bob. Let's plug it in here. And what we're going to do is grab our position, then grab a multiplier, and I'm going to grab my normals. Okay, and then I'm going to grab a turbulence. And I'm going to grab the position and add that into our, like multiply that by our normals and then grab our normals and add that to our current object and then into the position. So now we get what we're looking for. Um, and in this case, as you can see, we are using a 1D noise, which is a float. Because we have the normals which is dictating the position in which the turbulence is being um, multiplied therefore the normals are the ones that are giving the direction we don't want the x y and z component here because they are already determined by the normals so if we come in here we're going to see that's our implicit normal so that's where this is being displaced it already knows in which direction we wanted to displace it. Well, not not that it already knows, like the normals are already there, and that's what we want to use to sample the direction of our normal, okay? So when we come into the normal, we can increase the frequency or decrease the frequency. We can increase the amplitude, the offsets, uh, the roughness, and all this fun stuff, okay? So you, you, can, you should play around with the... With these parameters, change it to sparse convolution, which is really cool. There's a bunch of really awesome stuff um, in here in Houdini. Now, if we come in here and we select, um, 
we do a middle click promote parameter then what the promote parameter does is that it brings it out here so that we have control over whatever it is here what is inside outside of the, of the of the VOP and if we right click and we do vex and VOP options and you create import parameters it's gonna select them all place them out here and then you can come here and and do all your tweaking okay so this was an introduction to um, creating noise in Houdini using VOPs and we'll be back with more.